Too sexy for my shirt. Too sexy for my pants. I'm too... Yes, there it is. That's the big kahuna of Hanahuna surfing contest. <clears throat> Patient Hand me my bass guitar so I can be focused. Alvin <laughs> <laughs> says focus like in the middle of playing an instrument. Okay. Kind of, I guess, right? Yeah, honestly. Um, oh, come on. Oh, it's coming out. Okay. <clears throat> Oh god. Um yeah, let me let me turn mine. Let me get into more I was I'm still in like gamer mode. I need to be in like comfy chair. Right, exactly. That's what I'm trying to get into like podcast like comfy chair. I don't know how long this is gonna take mode. Yeah, we spend a lot of money on our chairs and our equipment. There's like no reason we have to like Honestly live my like chair slaves. is like the cheapest piece of chair. I like your chair. I mean my chair is different from your chair by yeah. a, like a lot, but Do you mean like your my chair I like or my, both, my chair? I like both the chairs. Okay. Yes. You're my chair. I love the colors. Uh, it's like, it's one of my favorite colors, like olive and gold. It's like a green. It's like a darker, but still, I like it. Yeah. Um, <sighs> my chair is very simple, but it, it's fe- it's effective. It works. It's comfy. I mean, I can sit in it like all day and like it works. Yeah. You ready to jump in? Yeah. So how, how are we going to start this? Um, I could start it. Okay. <clears throat> What is up, everybody? Welcome back to the Zoinkmeister experience with Adam of Zoinkmeister and joined by Zoinkmeister Patrick. Hey, how's it going? This is another one of our podcasts slash mini casts. This one's probably going to be a full size, though. It's probably going to be a long one, yeah. Yeah, we don't do these very often, but uh, when we do, <laughs> oh, we do boy. them. Yeah, so um, they're fun. I don't know. It's uh, not much going on. Um, but for now, this time, the uh, most of these have been questions. So I guess I'll frame this in a question. What do we think of the PlayStation 5 hardware reveal? Oh, yeah. Definitely a lot to unfold with that, what, what like hour and a half or longer? It was like two direct. hours. It was like yeah. a pretty pretty good size. Um, <clears throat> oh, man. Excuse my cough. Um, so if We've gonna, seen the PlayStation 5 console. We, we know the dire- that we went over. I mean, in reverse order, we're probably going to talk about the console and then move towards the software. Yes. But... Um, we know very little else. We've yes. seen the, we've seen the controller. We've seen the console. We've had that talk from the, uh, Epic Games guy who went over the like weird, like simplified version of like why the PlayStation Five is supposed to be fast. Yeah, the superior uh, Mark Cerny's long, um, well, a couple of months odd back. Yeah, going over the explanation of how they basically erased all the bottlenecks. So right. even though it's a less powerful system with um less spacious um. Uh, SSD space, uh, it's still going to be like non-existent load times. Everything's going to be much faster. And as far as gaming goes, it's going to be much smoother. Um, and we'll talk about what we saw of that in the trailers when we get to the trailers. Yeah. But for now, let's talk about the actual, I guess, what we think of the physical uh, versions of the... like, Like, what does the Xbox look like? Which we're not really here to talk about the Xbox, but I feel like it has to come up at some point. Definitely what? so. Um, I, I I honestly think this that we're gonna uh, probably like seventy five percent of this is going to be talking about the PlayStation and the Direct, and then the last twenty five is going to be like clearly what the the you know the matchup yeah. is looking like. Right. So okay, so let's just let's just hop into it. We've spent like five minutes like jumping around the topic. What do you think of the actual physical design of the PlayStation Five? I think it's bold. It's, I think it's really I it's whether bold. whether you like it or not it is a bold bold design. Yes. And it didn't really hit me. Um so I I I should give you some background. When we watched this, the full uh minus I guess Miguel and Dez as uh guest characters, but the full and main, Melissa. And Melissa, yes, I always forget. I'm sorry. <laughs> um uh the I mean us two, the main of course, but Harley was there. The three yes, of us were, were right. watching the. Direct. Harley watched it with us. Yes. That's where Harley's yeah. I, very I should have just infrequently it, appeared on the channel. Yes, I, I should have just said it was us two plus Harley yeah. instead of it was the whole game. Yeah, the whole minus game. Minus all these characters. Minus half the game. Yeah, so. Um, <laughs> Which uh, there will be a Harley series at some point, but yes. for now, he's appeared in like two episodes. Yes. So you'll have to take our word for it. Yeah, Harley plays a, a main role in conversations with just me. Yeah. Uh, but like, not regarding Zoink Meister, but he's a very close friend who should appear more on. Um, regardless, it is a very, whether you like it or not, it's very, very bold. Um, I have, 
uh, when we first, since we watched watched it together, I thought it was amazing mm. when I first saw it. Yeah. Um, I know uh, Harley first said it looked really futuristic, but it looks like really weird. And he didn't know how to feel about it. It does look futuristic. It looks very futuristic. So as soon as I saw it, I felt that it was such an interesting step forward, considering that it's such a, it's the first console I've looked at that it actually looks like it's trying to forward think. Like it's trying to look futuristic. It's not trying to look like a piece of modern technology at its height. It's supposed to, it, it looks like the center console of like a spaceship or something. Like, yeah, it's very, very Which I, I feel like, yeah, it's one of those things where I think most console designs have a very reserved look. I think most, most of the time people are going for, or not people, the developers are going for like, it fits into your living room and it doesn't look out of place. Yeah. Um, especially if you look at the original Xbox One, uh, which was huge. But the whole point was it was supposed to look just like... Just a box, VCR. Yeah, it's supposed to look like a DVR or something. DVR, kind. sorry. Cable box, whatever you want to call exactly. it. Exactly. Um, whereas this PlayStation 5 took the... Uh, I think it's the... F- I, I want to say it's like the first console to be like, no, I want it to look like a piece. Like, I want people to like look at the console. Like, if you have yeah. a PlayStation 5... You'll know, like if someone walks into your room and like sees that on your desktop or whatever next yeah, to your TV, absolutely a PS. They're gonna either say, "What is that?" or "Oh, you have a PlayStation." <laughs> yeah, it's very bold. And to be fair, it's not like an all original idea. It kind of looks like a, I don't know, like a a Koenigsegg version of like the Xbox 360's design or whatever. Okay. Uh, it looks like the, like the oh, hyper, yeah, 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 yeah the like hyper car version, sort of looking. Yeah. yeah, it's like a very. Um, how do we I... feel about the? I'm just saying it now because it it I think it affects the design choice. The disc versus not disc. So this is very interesting because the it is all the, digital edition of the PlayStation Five. It is the first console, I believe, where it has a separate. It, it looks different. Yes. It fits it, like the Xbox Sat Edition, the Xbox One S, all digital. Um, looks identical. It just misses the slot. Yeah. And that's the first console that has an all digital version where like, you know, the disc wasn't displayed. But this one physically looks different because of the difference whether or not it has it. And I it, it will have a price difference. Of course it will, right? Uh, Hopefully it's not a big price difference. I mean uh, I'm I'm hoping it's like no more than fifty. I, I'd be really yeah. really sad if it's a hundred. I really will. That's insane. I mean, because um, a disc drive, like if you just want to buy a disc drive, costs thirty dollars or twenty dollars. Like well, because this is a four K UH um four K disc drive so i guess so like the ps4s Still, don't even have them only it, the xbox ser- or, or xbox one x and s have them i don't um, know a hundred dollars though that's that's what i'm afraid of um because i know when the ps3 dropped it was blu-ray and that was uh, a big deal expense wise yeah okay um so i don't know how much this will affect to have it built in like that i'm sure sony has like oh yeah we invented this format or some nonsense like that so they'll yeah. probably have cheaper but i'm not sure if like they'll try to mark it up because if, you, if we don't really think about it it's like okay more development had to be into this i'm sure now i wonder if the markup will be totally artificial for the sake of them discouraging people using discs well here's the thing right is that the ps5 is backwards compatible with the ps4 yes and the ps4 pro okay so it would have to fundamentally have like multiple laser sets or some kind of like alternative. It, it shouldn't be just a 4K. Yeah. Like it won't be its only format. It should be able to read multiple things. And usually when things are like intricate like that. Well, so it would be it would be very interesting if it took the like Xbox 360 approach. And oh, read it, the disc and then downloaded. And then just down because that's the big difference is the PlayStation 5. I guess we'll have to get into the architecture a little bit here. Um, Yeah. The whole idea of eliminating bottlenecks a uh, disc is a heavy bottleneck. I mean, it is. It is. That's a- what a hard drive is: is a disc drive. Like having a uh, slapping a disc. If it had to actually read the game off of the disc, you would be at last gen speeds, and there's nothing you can do about By that. By far, we we actually don't even do that as is. Like um, when you pop in a disc, it does a heavy install. Yes. To do most of the work, so I'm sure they probably work that way around that too. Where um yeah, the game's assets maybe as soon as you boot it up the first time, it reads temporarily stores it in some like like ram or whatever and then can access so fast I, it's yeah. really weird i mean I'm, I'm not we haven't been revealed revealed to the in, like entire you know spreadsheet about how it exactly will work right but um, yeah i feel like i feel like that might be why they went with an all digital version yes this definitely feels like the ps6 won't have a disk drive now doesn't it uh you know what i'm i mean the xbox series x 
has a we haven't heard about it all digital edition, but we have we have the the Xbox X one. The Xbox One has an all digital version yeah, already. The Xbox One S. And so yeah, digital. I mean, like we've we've already have a whole entire podcast about the disappearance of disc drives, so we shouldn't get into that too deep. We shouldn't. It's just um so But I like this is like this is like icing on the cake for like that last podcast. Yeah, this is definitely icing on the cake, but uh Xbox doesn't just have the Series X. I believe that one is um the project name was Anaconda. And we still haven't heard of Lockhart. I don't okay. know if you remember there were two Xbox. I don't know anything about rumors. So Yeah. Uh, uh, it wasn't rumors. It was confirmed. Oh. There was two models in production that they were working on. Okay. Uh, Anaconda is the, I believe it's the um, Series X. And then Lockhart. We don't know what the Lockhart is, but we know it was a what? budget consumer version. What don't my Anaconda don't? <laughs> oh, well, I'll tell you what it don't do. Um, I, I can't tell you what it won't do. Yeah, exactly. But, uh, but basically, it, it was kind of rumored, like this is a legitimate rumor, Lockhart's okay. ex- existence isn't a rumor, but it was rumored that Lockhart would be essentially the budget version of the Series X. Like a Series S. Yeah, like a Series se. X to the Series, Series S to the Series X. Yeah. Xbox One S to the Series X. Very confusing. Very bad naming convention here. Okay, But gotcha. basically, I could totally see where they're like, oh yeah, this doesn't have a disk drive and this um, maybe yes. has slower parts in it. Yeah, and yeah, like, yeah, yeah, definitely. Yeah. It's it's I but it still plays Xbox One and Xbox Series X games. Xbox I feel like series, which that's something else we should mention. Um, the big difference in the the way that PlayStation is claiming that like their big big thing is that they're again removing bottlenecks, right? Insane speed. So, and I feel like we're only going to see that in exclusive titles, though. See, I'm not sure about that, and the reason I'm not sure about that is because Mark Cerny made such a big deal at um the makeup uh game developers convention okay um where he's like oh the architecture is completely different but you also don't have to use that you can like make games the way people have been making games for a long time but we can essentially remove these and one thing i think is spectacular is when games slowly like in in the beginning i feel like the first two years we're still going to see games look the exact same probably right they're physically going to look better because they're going to be in 4k yeah but um like this will be a weird jump because in the last console generation, I remember the launch titles were very specifically made to show off the number of AI you could fit on a screen. Yeah. So you had um, Assassin's Creed Unity, which broke. But I mean, the whole point was they put way too many. Uh, that was not launch title. Uh, yeah. Early titles, whatever. I'm saying like this oh, okay. is like the big difference, right? Where they were like, yeah, you could play Assassin's Creed Rogue on your previous gen if you wanted to or Unity. You know what they were adding was the fact that there was a whole bunch of and NPCs. Broke. And yeah. it broke. Um, and then there's also Dead Rising 3. Dead Rising 3, the whole selling point, which it was a launch title, was that, like, look at all the junk. we and Hilariously, yeah. so was Knack. Exactly, Knack. Knack yeah, is particle a particle, effects. particle effects. Exactly. Um, so this, if, if it's going for insane speed, which we'll get into when we talk about Ratchet and Clank, yeah. um, is that I feel like in the beginning, no one's going to know how to use the fullest extent to this, and they're slowly going to unravel. Of course, it's right. going to start with the first party and second party um, development studios. Yeah. But oh, I don't know. I feel like by the end of it, there's going to be, I'm sure there's going to be an indie title. Uh, actually, we saw a lot of indie titles. We did see uh, a lot of indie. So I'm sure we're going to see a lot of titles that are slowly going to take advantage of this, where they're going to be like, you know what? My game isn't too taxing. There's like, you know, it's it's like yeah. cell shaded. It doesn't have that many assets. What if it's so fast that I can do this? Or it's so fast that we can do this? But you don't think those are going to be exclusives? Um, When you say exclusives, you mean exclusive to PS5 or exclusive the next to PS5. generation? Yes, exclusive to PS5. Um, possibly. That's what I'm saying. See, I think the only things that are going to take advantage of the PlayStation 5 are exclusives to PlayStation 5. See, that's the thing, is that, uh, to me, whenever I hear PS5 broken down, um, architecturally, it kind of sounds like the PS5 is a, a new approach, right? Like, like you said, they're solving bottlenecks. Yeah. Um, which I think is spectacular. Uh, but the Xbox Series X seems to be just making, um, a stronger version of what we already have right it's more so, of a pc approach yeah where it's, it's just like better yeah, parts throw better parts at it like oh yeah it's, it's it's i mean xbox one and xbox series x games will be you can play them on both consoles for at least the first two years they've confirmed 
Okay. Um, so yeah, they're going to support it like, oh yeah, this game will still work on Xbox One X huh. uh, for like the first two years, um, which I'm sure they'll like incentivize you to phase out so you can get like a Series S or whatever yeah. when they release it or whatever Lockhart is. Um, but it definitely does feel like it is a PC approach, throwing better parts at it, where this does feel, I feel like there will slowly be things like that, where it's like, yeah, like this can only kind of be done exclusively like this. So our first party studios are doing it. Right. Whereas like third party guys are like, well, I kind of want this on both platforms, so I can't exactly do this. Right. Unless they took a bold approach and they straight up didn't put some issue or some special thing in the Xbox version. Which we, Oh, I see. Again, we don't know. I, I don't know if you've seen the um, Xbox Suspend demo where they 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 play like three different games no and I, I, not seen uh, I it's uh one of the forza games and i think like um uh uh maybe ori one of the ori games okay. i think uh and basically they're doing the instant suspend where they're playing one game and then they go to the home menu and then pop in the other one oh, okay gotcha. and that seemed pretty fast to me that was like yeah. very very fast and granted those were like last gen games i think they weren't even like uh the newest versions i think they were okay. like older games yeah um there was nothing new or like strongly taxing um so but it looked pretty quick to me so i'm wondering yeah. i mean how quick is the xbox series x how quick is the playstation 5 well so is the speed difference so yeah. much that there would be something that would be exclusive to one so the xbox series x is going to have a uh ssd right it's going to have a they they're both are using ssds so are both the coding. xbox series x will be faster than not having i mean a hard drive is just slow yes a hard drive is slow there so the question is like how much more are we getting out of the like software bottlenecks from the playstation 5 there's been some interviews from like people independently like just developers and they're like oh I, I've, some people have said they prefer working on the playstation 5 because it's easier to develop for I and it's like that. stupid fast yeah but I, I i still wonder we don't know exactly when they say stupid fast what that means it's like oh yeah, yeah is it like what they mark cerny was saying where you can eliminate loading screens because this summons this seeks information so fast right. you don't need it or is it just like oh yeah this console is fast like like we've been working on hard drives our whole life and finally like uh solid state is <laughs> considered standard yeah yeah which is i think fantastic i mean especially since considering there's yeah. i mean you have to understand the difference between a hard drive and a solid state drive is a massive speed upgrade it is a massive speed upgrade the only downside to ssds is eventually you have cellware so um, yeah well so the question is now like pc games might run into another uh like issue with uh ports because now suddenly like if games are developed for ssds some people don't run like me I, my games are all saved onto a hard drive they're not saved onto an ssd because it used to not matter <laughs> it used to not matter um yeah this will be definitely interesting i feel like this will be the first time in a while where um the pc boys are actually going to probably have to change the way they do things considering that this is going to make 4k the standard yeah um i know you know, the PC master race always totes like, oh, yeah, the graphics are so good. Um, most people don't have a crazy setup. Right. And that's the thing is that these kind of come out of the box 4K ready. Yeah. Um, so I know you can handle 4K. Yes. Uh, my setup can't handle 4K. It handles right. 1440 like a, like a beast, but yeah. it, it can't. 4K is not something I would want to. It'd be like, well, no, I'd want to play 1440 at like 160 frames or whatever. 65 right. frames. Yeah. Um, so it's like, I prefer that. But if this comes out of the box. 4k it's like and it like uses a different architecture like ssd yeah yeah i could totally see where some ports are like oh well we had to delay it might be that thing where they used to do in the ps3 and 360 generation where the pc port would come out like months later yes which i totally forgot about that until right now right that's a, and um, so then there's also another issue potentially where you can play like some older games on like a brand spanking new, like all, you know, Mark II drives and stuff like that. Yes. PC and still have the same sort of load times that you did on the console just because of like, those are just the way the games are set up. Optimization isn't a key point. Cause I feel like the thing about that, that um, consoles is they're very optimized for what they do. Right. Because they're essentially always underpowered compared yeah. to uh, i mean like a pc of the same specs but pcs are very generalized right so it's very hard to optimize for them where it's like especially if it's a um if it's a, a console exclusive where you only have to make it for one particular type of yes that helps with development yeah I'm sure I, I feel like that's why nintendo can get away with making these outstandingly like ridiculous mechanically complex things yeah um even i mean they don't necessarily look that good but like they're very complex right. mechanically and it's like well they develop both yeah. the system they develop right like, and it's also exclusively side by side with itself so like Mod odyssey looks good but it's not like i can compare it to i guess like you can get like skyrim on nintendo well like, like i mean even so it's like um 
Like what happens when your development team for your hardware is also like in the same right. building as your development team for your software? And right. it's like, hey, man, I ran into this weird problem. Is there something like, oh, yeah, here's the source code for this particular. Right. It's like, yeah, yeah, like they can get away with something yeah. like that. And nothing's like probably like, pr you know, private or whatever. Like, yeah, yeah, there's lots of like they can help each other out and stuff like that. So who yeah. knows? Who's to say? Who so can it's... say? But um, yeah, so there could be all kinds of potential problems with playing games on the PlayStation 5. And I doubt we'll see that like massive speed boost that's been toted yeah very interesting because we've already seen i'm saying we'll see it probably eventually yeah, but our first the first thing we saw actually was um i guess um counter evidence to that right uh the uh spider-man loading process do you remember that demo yes. that was leaked uh they no. uh so basically behind closed doors there okay. was um a display of the ps5's loading speed oh where they, they were playing spider-man ps4 really do you remember that you, no i haven't no? seen okay, it again so, i've not seen anything yeah, that's it's not like, like taken like from a shoddy like cell phone camera okay i'm surprised they haven't like showed us before uh they showed like the regular loading time on ps4 and it took roughly i think like 15 seconds or something like that yeah um they loading put, times in spider-man playstation 4 aren't bad they're just the game just is repetitive yeah. to make up for it so <laughs> they did it on the ps5 and it took 0.8 seconds wow it was instantaneous so that's the thing i'm like well we don't know if that's the digital copy or if that yes. is off of maybe they are doing the xbox approach or maybe it entirely dumps the entirety of the game uh, for like I, I don't know i really right. don't know how they're gonna handle it um that's interesting uh so okay i feel like i think we're at the point can we uh quickly talk well so let's just get our so do we have everything visually about the PlayStation 5 out of the way? No. So um, what else do we want to say here? There's I, big old vans in it. There is big old va uh, fans. I, I think it's very interesting how tall it is. It is a very tall boy. Yes. I forgot that we haven't actually said this part out loud yet. Uh, yeah. So we have on screen for us, hopefully it's on screen for you guys, um, a size chart comparison of uh, all the console generations starting two gens back playstation xbox only side by side and uh just vertical orientation the ps5 trumps them all it's tall it's so massive in it this is... picture and i remember when we saw the reveal i pictured it to be xbox 360 tall like that was in my brain how tall it was going but to be. but it's like an extra quarter on top of that it's so big it is a tall thing and, and then it's it, like it's fattest part is like as fat as the ps3 fat boy it's a fat yes although it will be skimmer for the without digital. the yes. yeah without the disk drive the disk drive is is uh is adding a lot of space but there. still that is a that is a tall boy and the yeah. thing about this that is very interesting too um now that i have this graph in front of me is um the difference in size is also color like look at how bold that is it is a giant like black ventilation basically encapsulated by white plastic yeah, it looks like um, a deep V-neck. Yeah, it is a deep V-neck, a weird, like, almost, like, erupting, like, alienistic. It is a very, like, right-in-your-face approach to it, whereas Xbox has literally the most simplistic design. Wait um, a second. What's up? It only has one USB port on the front? Yeah, I thought that was weird, too. Maybe there's multiples in the back. That's so strange. Maybe. So you can't really, like, plug in a controller. I guess the Xbox Series X only has one as well. Also strange. And the so Xbox, the Xbox One, X. One X. The, the Xbox One doesn't even have a single. The 360, it's hidden. It's hidden. It's put the little flaps. Um, weird. Yeah, all the other PlayStations have too. Uh, weird. Yeah, very weird. I believe it's, what is it? It's C or is it? Hopefully. Is it type C? C? I believe I believe all the connections are type C. Okay, that'd um, be nice. I don't like, okay, so I think standing up vertically, it looks cool. I would honestly be a little worried about putting it on its side. Yes, um, I'm actually concerned both both wise. I I have um, my setup here in the game room of Zoinkmeister, whichever direction this is from the other one. North. Uh, this is North Zoinkmeister North. Um, is that my uh, little display area is squares? Your cubby would probably. Be I hope it does. I mean, you can see the PlayStation Four is very tiny. Okay. Uh, well, hopefully it does. <laughs> yeah, I, that's what I'm saying. It's a it's a very tall. I'm sure it'll fit. But Hopefully. like, can it, will that fit sideways? No. I don't even know if that'll fit sideways. No, it won't. Like it that's will what I'm saying. Not fit so sideways. I have to stand it up. Yes. Um, Which I honestly would not want this thing sideways. I feel like I don't know if you guys saw it sideways. I don't know if you can grab a picture from the. I'll, I'll put it in. Yeah, there's one picture of it sideways, and it's for like a second. Like they did not want us, you to see how ridiculous it looks sideways. Yeah, it's definitely. It's, it's designed to be vertical. It's still guys. designed to be vertically. It's uh, uh, so. it has like bent at sides and stuff like that's the thing. It looks bold, and I give it 
credits for looking bold. I but... do, especially, I mean, and people are making fun of it online, like a lot of people. Really? Yeah, like a lot, a lot of people. And I, I think that's totally fine. We did the same thing with the Xbox uh, Series X where people were like... It's a refrigerator. It's a refrigerator or it's nothing. It's literally just... It's just... Which they've accepted that. Yeah, and that's fine. Like, I get it. But now it's it's so weird to see them lying side by side because one is so bold and the other one is so simplistic. Yeah. It's so weird. It's like, I, I don't know... I, I thought the Xbox Series X looked good from a really basic, like a black. Like, I like it. I think, especially yeah. the top. I think the top looks yeah. really cool. The top green thing. Yeah, you can't see it um, in this picture. Hopefully, you can throw up one of those yeah, I'll too. I'll put on another one. Um, yeah, I think the top area where it's like caved in and like yeah, green. it's like green coming through. Like yeah. that, I thought was a neat That's design cool. choice. But everything other than that is extremely simple. Like there is yeah. a simple Xbox light on the front, and then just the disc slot and then the eject yeah button. and that's it like that's right. crazy that is crazy and then look at the ps5 it is this crazy alienistic weird like has a stand on the bottom but you also have a separate stand that goes underneath if you want to put it like it, yeah i've been trying to stands. think of like what it reminds me of like architecture wise and probably the closest i could get is the covenant from halo series it looks like covenant architecture <laughs> yeah it's very very that so i don't know i don't know i i like it though i am positive for it um I, I, I'm also more on the optimistic side. I have nothing against it. I, I wouldn't say I'm a huge fan. Or, like when I first saw it, I think I was a little taken aback. Um, But I was kind of prepared for it because the controller looks uh kind of wacky too. I like the Not controller. Not this wacky though. I, I do like the controller. I really do. I feel like people... I feel would, like it's going to be good. I feel like it looks yeah. a lot more comfortable. I don't like the PlayStation 4 controllers. I, I like the PlayStation 4 So that's controllers. the thing. I feel like you're going to like this one less because to me it looks more like an Xbox controller. It's like a lot more rounded. I'm, it's not that I dislike the other one. I like them both. Okay. I'm 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 I'm, I'm optimistic more so than that. In fact, uh, I I can't really think of the last time I thought a console was ugly. Um, I mean, maybe I used to think the N64 was kind of wonky. I'm not a big but... fan of the the original xbox one um I've, I've seen it it was really big and chunky but like you think that's big and chunky i mean hmm, it's hmm. smaller than the, than the xbox playstation 5 yeah. in every exactly way. yeah i thought it was chunky but like even so when i saw one i was like yeah it's just a big old brick but it's not ugly i didn't think it was ugly i was just like mm. oh, it's just simplistic yeah. uh, i think the xbox one x is one of the most beautiful consoles i've ever seen the Xbox One X, and this is the only picture. I've never actually seen it in person, and it looks really cool there. I've seen it in person. I've seen the S in person. I think both are fantastic. I'm a big fan of the S. Yeah. I think the S I think, the, yeah, the arch- uh, the, just everything that went about it, it looks fantastic. Yeah. Very simple. Yeah. Um, I love the PS4 design when I got the PS4. I have the... Yeah, PlayStation 4 is cool design. Yeah. I didn't get the burger, the the stacks, the Slim, or the Pro. I still have my, yeah. my original PlayStation 4. Yeah. Um, uh, I thought the Fat Boy PS3. I have all three PS3s. Um, okay and i i like all three of them i think all of them i guess it's even point, the weird one that like we'll flops probably forward. get a playstation 5 slim right probably eventually for sure right i in fact y- they have yet to make a playstation that didn't have a slim right so like i in, mean and all of them even the portables the psps the vitas this yeah. might look good in a slim yeah because so. it, it kind of already has that design like the slims have that like more curved sort of design to them and you never know there might legitimately be a ps5 pro that hasn't even like stupid or like oh yeah it has <laughs> eight, 8k support yeah. because you'd say that's stupid now but that's literally what the ps4 was it was like oh yeah in a in a 1080 world it came out with 4k support yeah so i don't know about 8k it might think about it, it think about might it because this, eventually this generation don't okay but don't hold your breath for the 8K PlayStation. Well, I'm not saying it's not going to come. I'm just saying if you want a PlayStation 5, well, there's don't be- hold out on the Pro. Yeah, no, don't hold out on the Pro. But there's there's like there's 6K. There's like steps in between there. Yes. Um but I 8K mean 8K like, is a big jump. 8K is a big jump. But uh what what I'm saying is like Like currently if you want to run 8K, you need like I think at least two graphics cards, if not like four graphics cards. Yeah. Like that that <laughs> one's that one's a more, you know, ridiculous. But even so like 4K, I thought 4K was like stupid unachievable. I mean for uh, the PS4 Pro didn't even actually do 4k it did well, checkerboarded 4k okay but like i remember seeing 4k screens before like the playstation came out playstation 4 well i mean we have 8ks now we have 8k displays right but not like like common like i feel like i like i would like walk into a target and like look at the screens and i'd say like there's like usually the like the center one would be like a 4k one you know whereas like i i don't even know where i'd find an 8k tv right now best buy is there is it like center stage at like best buy the i think like, i've seen like two okay because i don't even know like if you is anything an 8k like is there a point to have an 8k screen not at this point 
Exactly. Like it's uh, so weird. Honestly, I, I saw this really interesting. Um, that's what I'm saying. That like, like video. Yeah. I, if I believe... 8K happens, I feel like it. It's a bit like further down the road than 4K was when the PlayStation 4 came out. As of right now, there is no incentive to not play 1440p at high frame rate. Yeah. Um, if you play on a uh, PC or personalized screen, that's like not too far away. Yeah. Uh, there's no reason. I, I I believe your eye can't actually perceive that distance. I believe it's when you step. It's like more than maybe like three feet or something like that yeah is when 4k will actually make a difference because it'll be as crisp as like 2k would be at a closer a closer distance or something, something like that i i've seen it not but, to not to uh like start advertising other youtubers but there's a linus tech tips video where he runs uh a couple games on 8k and it's pretty funny to watch just because um how close to the screen he's sitting oh yeah he has to get real close <laughs> it's pretty funny he's like i can see everything yeah it's it's crazy there's no incentive to do it it's like it, like physically like your no. eye won't be able to perceive it unless financially, you're sitting ridiculously yeah, close to the screen financially you can't afford that right now i mean you probably uh, there's probably some guys out there that can for sure right um but there i mean like is. there's no reason to it's like what what is 8k support right like i'm surprised yeah, we don't, don't have another dongle pass like like a, a weird new like Right. I mean, that's HDMI the other... 4 that has like yeah. a blue pin cord or something. Yeah. Yeah. I don't know if we'll even, I don't know how we, if you can find that Linus Tech Tips video, I feel like the other point of that video was that like, there's no point to AK. Yeah. There's no point. It took so much work for them to get that set up and yeah. they're like, that's crisp, but also. <laughs> yeah. It, it hurts. I'm sure the frame rate is going to be garbage. Um, it's just. Oh, it was. <laughs> yeah. It's just stuff like that. It's, it's, it's dumb. But, but even so it's, um, it's, it's I don't know. I, right. I'm, I'm really looking forward to, um how these jumps will go there probably will be a slim i mean there, there will be a slim i, mean, I hope the slim comes sooner, sooner than, later. than later yeah uh if they can find a way of compacting i feel like it's an airflow issue the reason why it's so big um whereas the xbox series because the xbox series x like it's design is like maximum airflow like i feel like that thing will hopefully not have heating problems uh because it's like the, the way it's designed yeah we'll see that is at consistently been their problem right um it but that's, fried, i think that's why they designed yeah, it this it way it fried the original 360s um the xbox one was underpowered over the ps4 I, yeah. I believe so they can keep issues like that down yeah um the xbox one x's i believe the launch ones um were uh frying out okay. because of heating issues right but i, I don't know that might have been i above. feel like that's why they designed it this way like the yeah. big big fat refrigerator they're like all right like we're done with like heating issues yeah so i think the playstation 5 the reason why it has this like such a massive design is because i think they were trying to commit to the classic console look of like a slim tall yeah uh, but then they All needed still, the vent yeah yeah because it's sucking air from everywhere but the top and then shooting it out the top yeah so or i guess the tallest part if you put it sideways that's true the yeah the right whatever yes. that yeah we'll, we'll call it top uh so yeah so that that's that's the playstation design i'm yeah like like you said i'm not like it doesn't bother me i mean as a console like i don't think i don't know it's not, i don't think it's the prettiest thing i've ever looked at but um i think it's hopefully functional and uh i think it does stand out if you're a playstation boy or girl or third thing uh playstation person whatever non-binary yeah uh then, <laughs> um i think you'll PlayStation organism yes. i think yeah if you want to rep the ps ps pss the ps5 yeah uh i think you can do that in the way that in a way that i think the xbox series x people who know will see it and they'll know i think the playstation people who don't know will see it and they'll know <laughs> like yeah i mean they're, they're all everyone insults each other right like yeah oh yeah this one looks like a fan or a router oh the ps3 looks like a george foreman grill oh my oh, goodness the ps2 right. looks like, it does uh, look like a, a bunch of weird like little so weird vents it's like oh yeah the xbox series x looks like a refrigerator the xbox one x looks like two rectangles it's like the, the x1 looks like a big old dumb vcr um i don't know it's 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 all relative uh, regardless I, I mean the way it looks isn't going to affect the console right it's just and i don't think it's aesthetically that pleasing yeah so, so I think this is a good time to move past the consoles. Let's move past the consoles now. It's that been thirty-five minutes. It's been thirty-five minutes. We've already done like roughly half the like podcast yep. time just <laughs> so, on looks. Let's jump in. What's important here? The software. The first game that I want to cover in the reveal is Ratchet and Clank. Definitely, that was definitely the the display of the anti bottleneck super fast SSD. It was the asset. It was just the most gameplay we saw. It was definitely no, the most gameplay. Grand Turismo was the most gameplay we saw. I I don't count Grand oh Turismo though. That was like a minute and a half. <laughs> yeah. of just like that was they were just car. Yep, this is a race. <laughs> 
cars. Cars. I'm actually a big car you guy want too. More cars. Uh, I'm a big car guy. I know you're a big Corvette guy. Um, I mean, I like cars, but like, I'm definitely. I had just recently gotten into cars, so I don't know much past um, like American and European cars. I don't know very much about like Japanese cars. More right. of a Japanese guy myself. Right. So that, um, that's the that's the difference there. Oh. But yeah. Um, so we're looking at, we're looking at the things here, hopefully, but yeah, let's talk about Ratchet and Clank first. Yes, definitely Ratchet and Clank was... As, was, as much fun as Gran Turismo was, it's a minute longer than It the looks good. It looks really good. It's it definitely did. the same. It's just like... It's the same thing. Yeah, it's another, nice. it's a really nice looking car 4K game. 4K racer, yep. That's, you know what? Nothing wrong with that. It's just not what we're talking about today. Yeah. Uh, we're here to talk about the supposedly bottleneck fixing issues that Ratchet and Clank shows. Um, and so the question is, so, okay... The first thing I want to bring up is when they switch worlds, it is not instantaneous. It is not. There's that purple, maybe like a second or two where they like... It's not long. My question, though, is that is that just an SSD boost? Like how... Because that's not instant. We were promised instantaneous. We didn't get instantaneous. We got very, very fast. We weren't promised instantaneous. We were promised a certain gig per second ratio. In fact, they they did address that at one point that um, a lot of their developers said that sometimes the lack of loading screens were too fast and it broke the immersion. Interesting. So this might be artificially there it just could to fluff be. that time. Or this, I mean, even so, they brought in a whole world map. Uh, what? Like they, they when they switched worlds, when they oh, went through the purple, oh, 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 they brought in yeah. like a whole new map. Yes. So that, that might be a lot. That might right. still be, that might right. be the we PS5. We don't know how much of that map it's loading yeah. when you pull into a new world. So we don't. But regardless, it was impressive. You definitely see the... Uh, it was fast. It was really fast. It was really fluent. But I feel um, like what'll like blow my mind away with the PlayStation, because this is the biggest like gameplay PlayStation we saw. And I yeah. feel like it wasn't like what I was what I'm hoping to see someday, uh someday is like an instantaneous teleportation at some point where they like fast travel to a location and fast travel to another location and it's just like wicked quick. Yeah. And I, I'm sure again, I think that issue it, there's no way to make an instantaneous without breaking the immersion of the game you'd have to make some kind of like weird like like warp or not if fades no. to blue yes fades to white no i feel like you could have like I, I feel like that's what i'm saying you, i mean you might have to design a game around that concept of the character like instant warping whatever like it, it could be a concept for the game mm -hmm. um but yeah it is weird to think that a game might have to be designed slower just for the sake of uh not getting disoriented yeah that's it's very interesting. I remember when I played Resident Evil 7 for the first time in VR, okay. um, pressing, I believe it's the circle button, will automatically instantaneously launch you or turn your camera 45 degrees left or right. Yeah. It was extremely disorienting. Yo, it was not good. It did. It was a terrible approach to that, I feel. And I get it. You're supposed to like move your head quick and you have like a VR headset on. Like right. you can't do that. Yeah. Um, I, I thought it was way too disorienting. Interesting. Yeah, I did not like it at all. Yeah, I imagine in VR it's a lot harder than... Uh, I don't know. I feel like people can easily come to accept that they will switch locations faster. And I think I mean, they can, time, they can adapt to it. But... Right. I feel like over time it'll be not as... I think it's only immersion breaking now just because we're so used to video games having load times. Yeah. Uh, that you're, like your brain's immersion is used to the load time of a video game. Yeah. But... Yeah, I don't know. It'd be interesting to see. And then they had like teleport in the in the Ratchet and Clank as well, where they teleported a short distance ahead. Yeah. Um, and it had a really cool looking effect. <laughs> it had a really cool looking effect. But we've seen teleportation in games before, like Dishonored. The first one. Yeah, has teleportation. yeah, that's not new. Teleportation is definitely something that's like an older, right. older mechanic. So yeah, the only time we'd like notice it would be it would have to be like a long form thing. That's what I was thinking. Like, what is the fastest, quickest way of showing off the PlayStation 5's Like, ooh, well, again, it's fast. we didn't get to see it, but. The uh, Spider-Man PS4 right. launch would be really nice to have a breakdown explanation of how that works. Yeah. Um, like, because, I mean, getting a reduction time from 15 seconds to 0.8 is yeah. ridiculous. That is a ridiculous number. I, I, I think the last time they plugged it in, they some, there was like an insert somewhere where they said the PS5 is 100 times faster than the PS4. And I was like, 100 times faster? That's way too much. Like, that is an insane amount. That's like that. Those have to be like artificially like. Well, so then that's one thing we can kind of segue into here real quick is the Miles Morales game was announced. Spider-Man yes. Miles Morales. Uh, and I'm curious if 
because it takes place in New York still, I assume. Yes. Um, I can't imagine it's like in the distant future or something like that. Uh, it would look like it could have been maybe the winter of that same summer. Exactly. I don't, I don't really so know. that's why I wonder what kind of like upgrades will they take advantage of the PlayStation 5? Will it just be the faster load times or are they going to like take the commitment to making every area look like distinctive and not like like pre-rendered assets, whatever, that repeat over across the entire map. Yeah, this is very interesting because this game specifically, um, they had some clarification on it because I guess some people were asking, hey, is this just a DLC? Or is this like a game of the year version of this? Or whatever? Oh, interesting. Okay. And they said it was a standalone game, right. which is very interesting. I assumed I it was like, the sequel. But I feel, yes, that they didn't use the term sequel, not one oh. time, which is the issue. Right. They said standalone. When I hear standalone, I consider uh, Uncharted Lost Legacy to Uncharted 4. It could be. Yes, this this might be a shorter game that is still action-packed full of fun. It's still a, a, a good version of the fun and excitement you know and expect, but maybe it's... That would make sense, because it is called... Maybe it's shorter for the sake... It's called Spider-Man Miles Morales. Well, it's called... So the first game was called Marvel's Spider-Man. This one's called Marvel's Spider-Man Miles Morales. And there's no... It's it's written... I feel like it's a... It's like, written underneath it, too. It's the exact same logo. Yes. I feel like it's like underneath. GTA 4 Vice City? Uh, 3. GTA... It's, yeah, it's Grand Theft Auto 3 and then Grand Theft Auto Vice City. Vice City. Okay. I feel like that... I think like it might be one of those sort of things, where it's just kind of like... It's the same game, but we changed the main character out, <laughs> you know? Yeah, but I mean, they changed, like, the world, too, I believe. Um, Gave it, like, a Miami theme. Right. Um, But I, I don't know. I would I would be fine with it. Yeah. I, I would, in this game in particular. Yeah, uh, yeah. Spider-Man uh, was fun. They did definitely show off that it'd be new powers. They showed off <laughs> invisibility and electricity, at least. Do you remember, though, what the first game that we got to see in the PlayStation 5 reveal trailer was? It wasn't Marvel Spider Man. That was actually, I believe, the, the first second game? one. Yeah, the GTA first one. Five. It was a GTA whole lot Five. Of GTA Five. Baby. They literally. <laughs> it is going to be a tri generation game. That was the that was the biggest letdown of the entire second biggest letdown yeah. of the entire but show. It was was that they opened with GTA Five, baby. Here's the thing. Here's the thing. It's the dis- selling game. It's disappointments to us. Ever. It's disappointments to us. Money. But Harley got excited. Really? I don't know if you remember. No. He said, oh, man, because uh, what are they? They're giving everyone like a free copy of on the PS5 or some nonsense yeah, like that? Yeah, no, the, uh, the PlayStation they? 4, they're going to give everybody like a million dollars every, every month until the PlayStation 5 comes yeah, out. Yeah, so apparently Harley was like, dude, that's like a lot of in-game money. Like you can right. do so much stuff with that. Yeah. And he got excited and I was like, dude, who cares? Like, yeah, it's GTA 5. And he's like, but no, like everyone plays that. And I was like, oh, shoot. Yeah, everyone plays that. But yeah. like us. That's funny. So, we were talking about. Uh, I don't know. I think you said before the 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 reveal trailer started that it cost them like a certain amount of money to make the the reveal thing or something like that. Yeah, they spent uh, supposedly millions and millions to make sure. <laughs> I feel like all of that money went into GTA. the GTA Five in game currency, my boy. Yes, that's the budget, all right. Yeah, it felt like and transitions. The transitions. Oh if, yeah, they did spectacularly. If there's a PlayStation the... Five reveal trailer transition compilation out there in the world, everyone needs to go see it because it was. <laughs> it was so many transitions, and they were they're, all like they're very super good. high quality. Yeah, but it's it was just like hilarious. Between, the commitment. Yeah. <laughs> Between every single, I think there was like what thirty seven games or something like that shown. Something, yeah. It was like a lot. Yeah, and it was every a lot. single game yeah. had like a full length, like thirty yeah. second long, it beautiful, was a very 4K, big transition. <laughs> lots of particle effects transition. Like, which the funny part is that like that didn't convey like the speed of the PlayStation Five to me. Oh, what it conveyed it was like like oh this is taking forever. Oh yeah, <laughs> like, like load times. I was like, baby. Oh yeah, man, we definitely That's put so some, dumb. We got to artificially fluff this thing. Like yeah 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 yeah. yeah, yeah. Uh, so is there any, um, do we want to talk about now, like any standout games for you? I, I, I made a list of three, but there's others yeah, that like were uh, good looking. NBA 2K21. Well, okay, okay. We have to talk about the standout. <laughs> there's a couple standout like bad titles. Uh, okay. So I only had one title that I thought was bad and it was Jet the Far Shore. Okay. Hold up. I just real quick. Like, okay. These aren't bad. I guess we yeah, got Gran Turismo and NBA. They look good. You could see the sweat. They're definitely more of the same. Right. Thing. It's just that like those, those weren't disappointments so much as like, we just didn't care when they were shown. On yeah. I, I, again, I'm a car guy. I like yeah. Gran Turismo. The I, biggest like actual physical disappointment that I like, I felt it like in my giblets. Like it was oh, yeah. Jet the Far Shore. Like Adam said, Oh my God, my goodness. That was the worst trailer for any game. And I've, I've seen some people like excited about this game, I guess. 
but uh nothing happens it's a zoomed out yeah we perspective we on a spaceship we couldn't even remember the name of the game sideways. and then patrick was like oh yeah the game where you're the spaceship zoomed all the, all way, the out. way out because and like every single time both adam and harley knew exactly what yeah, we were talking about that's they, just the way we they don't to show it. you anything they no, show you like it's zoomed some, so far <laughs> some tribal men and then the tribal men go into space and yeah. then it just shows an asymmetrical angle of a ship yeah, just, a spaceship like traveling at like yeah, this weird asymmetric and, angle. And it's asymmetrical. It so zooms you, so far out. You can't see ahead of you or behind you too no. far, so there can't be like enemies coming on no. screen. It was like it's no hilarious. conflict. It was like yeah. what was going on? Yeah, it was. It, the game looks. Um, I need way more to tell me literally anything yeah. about that game. I have no clue. I assume it's gonna be like No Man's Sky. I guess I don't know what else to think. Like it was so generic. It yeah. was so weird. I mean, it wasn't generic. It was like fascinating how impossible it was to tell what was going on. <laughs> it was awesome. Uh, so yeah, now that now that Jet's out of the way, is there any other? There's no other like big standout. No, that was the only one. It wasn't even that it was bad. It was just that goodbye I didn't... volcano. Goodbye volcano high. Uh, took me by surprise. There was a lot of furry stuff in this entire. Oh yeah, there was a lot of furry stuff. Which it's not bad. It's just it is what it is. There was a lot of furry stuff. Um, I don't partake. Um, there's also stray i was kind of disappointed by because it looked cool but then it turns out i've actually heard a lot of people say that they're excited for stray uh, uh, yeah and they're probably um, and there was no gameplay too they're that probably was like also all excited that Sackboy started out in a lion costume you know and uh, whatever they're probably also excited I, for I goodbye thought, volcano i thought High. Sackboy was outstandingly charming i thought it was the mario 3d land when we actually saw mario gameplay world. for Sackboy the big adventure yeah i thought it looked awesome yeah but the the like the teaser they did where it's like a lion and you're like what the heck is happening and the lion stands up and it's furry Sackboy. yeah i was like okay i think i think playstation 5 thinks their audience are all furries and they'd be right. You know, maybe they're right. <laughs> I don't know. I Wait, they, focus Stray, testing? Sackboy, uh, Goodbye Volcano High. Yeah. There was a lot of them. There was yeah, a lot of I, them. I thought Sackboy was outstandingly charming. Um, Volcano High absolutely is not for me. Uh, yes, but right. That, I, I, it's for somebody. Yeah, I actually, I know some people that do. Um, Excited about this, that? Yeah, yeah. This kind of thing. And that's cool. I think that should be you know represented just as much as anything else. It's yeah. just like. Those are the games. If you're, you know, if you're asking me, like, what games were you like not super into? Uh, Returnal, I just don't like. Um, Souls likes. Returnal's a Souls like. Uh, is Returnal's a Souls like? Yes, uh, definitely. It's like I yes. <laughs> it's I mean, absolutely. Demon Souls is in this announcement. I thought it was fantastic. Demon Souls. If you're into, if you're into that, I'm not into it, but it looked it looked really, really good. good. Demon Souls, the the like upgrade was pretty sweet like it's pretty worth checking out if you just like um like because they're not doing the the super dank lighting like no the if bat, you, yeah. it like looks vibrant it looks clear it yeah. looks crisp everything yeah. looks if you like fantastic. medieval artwork watch the demon souls trailer it was pretty cool it showed us like no gameplay but if you just look up demon soul it's demon souls <laughs> like it's, it's not, demon souls yeah it's, this isn't a new game it's just a remake um uh what nothing else i think was particularly like boring or bad or i mean godfall i don't i didn't no I, i'm i'm fine for godfall it definitely looks like it. a um a, a slash em up version of like warframe or something i'm not really sure we need to see more on it there's also um, um this odd world odd world was weird storm yeah i mean odd world you, definitely not for me right if um, you like odd world then there's more odd oh there was bug snacks so there's that that's by the um creators of octodad octodad and, and that and we, i like octodad we played, yeah we've played octodad together separately and together yeah and it's been on the channel uh, but you weren't in that episode uh yeah there is an octodad episode and you're not in it um what yeah it's just me in the episode on the channel you sure mm -hmm. i don't believe you i like strictly remember there's like us even like you're like oh yeah just do this and i like floated past it and everything i think we recorded that oh Yes, there's also that one. That's not the one I was referring to, but yes, you're right. There's two Octodad videos on the channel. One yeah. has Adam in it. One of them does not have okay, Adam. I was in like, it. I know I'm at least in one. They're like, both worth sure. watching. They're both ex excellent, um, fun episodes. Uh, but and that one was deliciously charming. It wasn't like yeah, it was charming. It was just like not. I don't know what to like. I don't get it. I guess I don't I, know. I'm very. I, I have this uh, this approach. I like saying I am cautiously optimistic. Sure. Um, don't get too optimistic because then you get overhyped and things will disappoint you. Right. Don't get disappointed in everything because these are all working games that like hundreds of people worked on. So it's probably, you know, good enough to be like, oh, well, why not give it a try? Right. Yeah. I'm cautiously optimistic. Even if that game is not for me, it's like, yeah, that might be a cute time. I mean, you have to consider that this is, this is the reveal trailer. So this isn't right. for the hardcore gamer. Yeah. This isn't for the hardcore multiplayer. This isn't for the hardcore narrative. This isn't for kids. It's for everybody. Right. It is, it is supposed to be a grand sweep. 
So I mean, I guess the, the everything was here shy of Call of Duty. Yes. Um, which I mean, arguably, I liked Death Loop. Uh, as an fps that was we'll we'll get we'll get yeah. i, I kind of okay so as far as our low to mid tier reveals go the last one i'd put on there is maybe destruction all-stars um just it looked like an all multiplayer game not for us I, it didn't look bad in any way i'm just saying as long as like if i were to make a list oh yeah that's the the one that looks like um uh what's the twisted Rock, metal kind uh, of rocket versus, league rocket versus, league uh, yeah. overwatch or something yeah, like that yeah yeah uh, or like Fortnite sort of aesthetic, whatever. It was it was, it was an interesting. It is very. Um, I don't know if you played Borderlands Three. No, I have not played any. Borderlands so they 3. did this really, really, really bad approach to the enemy's character design, okay. where one of their person, no, sorry, the two main antagonists' entire personality traits is that they're Twitch streamers. Oh yeah, yeah, I know about that. It yeah, was yeah. a terrible idea. Yeah, yeah, yeah. A yeah, terrible yeah. idea. That feels like what the whole game is doing. Yeah. And I, I don't know. Again, this could be exclusively for like 12, 12 to 14 year olds that are like super into like the. Are we talking about Borderlands still or are we talking about Destruction All Stars? Destruction All Stars. Yeah. Um, I don't think like, it's a bad thing. I'm just saying, like, as far as like my personal list of like the things that I was excited for as I was watching this, the definitely like low mid to mid area. The last yeah, one is probably Yeah, but that's what I'm saying is that some people that might have been higher up the thing. They're like, oh, absolutely, yeah, absolutely. I love Rocket League. That looks like a lot of fun or whatever, right, you know, right. or I love Fortnite. That looks like a lot of fun. Right. What is up, everybody? I'm Adam from Zweigmeister, and unfortunately, this episode went on for a little long, so I'm going to go ahead and cut this one into at this point of recording, Patrick is not with me. So it's just me on this little bit explaining what's going on with the two split episodes. Thank you for your understanding. I'll try to get episode 10, part two to you as soon as I can. You've been awesome. Have a great day. It's been Adam Azoikmeister.